I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can add planets and stars in your music videos. I just want to shout out 11% Tutorials. Uh, he really inspired me to make this video. It's a super easy process to do this and it doesn't require any plugins. So yeah, let's hop straight into it. Inside of After Effects, you can see I have this clip from one of Lil Tecca's music videos shot by Cole Bennett. And basically what we're going to do here is put a planet right here, track to the video. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is actually motion track. I'm going to click on our clip right here. I'm going to go to the right side to the tracker. Now, if you guys don't see this, you want to go up here to window and make sure your tracker is toggled. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on track camera. And right now it's just gonna analyze the clip and uh, get all of the track points ready for us. So now that it's tracked, you can see we have a bunch of different track points on this composition. What we're gonna go ahead and do is just click on create camera in the effect controls. Now we've got this 3D tracker camera that is going to 3D track the objects that we place within it. So right here, I've just got a video clip of a planet in space. So what we're gonna wanna do to this clip right here, just right click on it. We're gonna go to the blending mode and we're gonna change that to screen. And as you can see, now we just pretty much have the planet. We're going to go ahead to the toggle switches and modes and click on this little 3D cube right here. We're going to track it within the 3D space. But as you can see, it's not tracked very well and it's actually just flying off the camera. Uh, to make this more realistic, we're obviously going to want to put the planet super far in the background because in real life, planet would not be moving like at all. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it all the way back here super far. I'm going to resize it to make it way bigger. Go ahead and adjust the position to where it would be in the scene. And as you can see, that is still too close to the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it super far back again and repeat this process until it looks good. I'm going to make it bigger again and adjust the positioning. And as you can see, now it is perfectly tracked to the scene and it looks like it's actually in the sky. It's a little bit faded and washed. So there's a couple things you could do to kind of bring it out. I'm going to go ahead and get a Lumetri color and drag that onto our planet. In the basic correction, I'm just going to kind of increase the contrast here. I'm going to up the whites, I'm going to go in the curves, and I'm just going to up the purples and the blues saturation uh, since that is the color of our planet. And that's just going to make it pop out a little bit more. Playing that back already, it's a little bit more visible. Uh, and then to add stars, it's pretty much gonna be the exact same process. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this stars overlay that I downloaded from Google. You can literally just look up a picture of stars on Google and you'll find the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and 3D track that as well. In the same process, I'm gonna move it super far back and rescale it up. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust its position in scaling. Then I'm gonna go right click on these stars, go to blending mode, and change it to screen. And just like that, we have stars in the scene. Now you will notice that there's stars kind of like overlapping. You might have to adjust the position for this to work properly. So keeping the stars up here makes it look a lot better. And if you really wanted to make sure these stars didn't overlap over this tree, we could go ahead and create a mask. So if we go to these stars and we grab the pen tool, we could just make a mask roughly, but roughly where the stars end. Then we're gonna go down into the masks and I'm just going to increase the mask feather and this is gonna make it fade in and out better. And I might go ahead and increase the mask expansion just because the feather kind of faded out the stars in the middle. And now you can see we kind of don't really have those stars on top of this tree. Uh, obviously super rough mask, I didn't take much time with it. You could also use the rotor brush tool uh, to mask out the sky if you really wanted to. I think the last thing I would do to this scene is grab a Lumetri color and drag that onto our base clip at the bottom here. And I would just go to the basic correction, you know, maybe turn down the exposure a little bit so that the planets pop out a little bit more. Uh, you know, it really just depends on how spacey you want the vibe to be. Definitely mess around with the creative look. Maybe let's change the shadow tint to more of a purple-ish vibe. You can go ahead and change the trees to be purple real quick. I'm gonna go ahead to the curves and go to the hue versus hue. I'm gonna go ahead and select the green. And I'm just gonna drag that into the purple. Since I didn't get all the greens, I'm gonna go ahead and select a little bit more and just continue to mess with the colors here. And as you can see, we have all of these trees purple and it looks super cool. So yeah, I'd probably say this scene is done here. Uh, we've got the purple trees and the kind of alien planet in the background with the stars. It looks super cool. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. If you do want to learn how to instantly create 3D objects in your scenes, make sure you click right here. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below. I do read all of your guys' comments and I appreciate all of the recent support. And then that, join the Discord. I'll see you guys in the next one later.